Good day. Uh, today we're going to talk about denitrification, and uh, this step continues with the nitrogen cycle. And so we're going to talk about, in general, what a nitrogen cycle is, is after the fixation and after the take up of organic material, if you add plant litter into the soil, you have nitrogen in the form of organic nitrogen. It can be transferred by microbial processes into ammonium ion in a process called uh, uh, mineral uh, immobilization, or, or sorry, mineralization. So NH4 plus is formed ammonium ion. And then the nitrification takes place where uh, uh, ions such as uh, nitrite and then nitrate are formed, as we can see here, NO3 minus represents the nitrate. So this process is nitrification. And after nitrification, we are going to talk about today is the denitrification step we're going, where nitrate is converted into uh, 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 nitrogen gas and escape from the soil. So it's a biological reduction of nitrate and nitrite to nitrogen gas. And in this equation, we see how uh, nitrogen is uh, reduced to form the nitrogen gas and to escape from the soil system. The general requirement for denitrogen, denitrification are usually accompanied with the presence of suitable denitrifying bacteria with electron donors and of course the most important condition is the anaerobic system uh, also needs to have the uh, uh, nitric oxide such as the nitrite and the nitrate if they are there then denitrification would occur and so inside here there's a, a membrane there's uh, usually certain enzymes that are responsible for the uh, uh, denitrification uh, that have specific requirements uh, for each bacteria. So let's say with the assimilatory nitri nitrate reduction, there's a vast group of organisms that can do that, such as plants, fungi, bacteria, and algae, where they take nitrate, they take up nitrate, okay, from the soil, and converts it into amino acids at the end. So uh, mobilize, immobilizing the nitrogen in the form of uh, organic material and amino acids. The chemodenitrification occurs more widely in acidic soil, while uh, Clostridium perfringens, for example, is an example of a dissimilatory nitrate reduction to uh, ammonium ion. With a respiratory reduction, we see that uh, nitrate is for, can be transformed into nitrite, NO2 minus. Most of the uh, uh, microbes that can do the uh, denitrification, they're usually facultative anaerobes, they're usually heterotrophs, they cannot synthesize their own uh, uh, carbon pool, except the paracoccus and the styobacillus, these are the chemo. Uh, organotrophs. La, so, for example, the organotrophic, we see a lot of genera. These are uh, generally anaerobic, some are halophytic, thermophilic, spore formers, uh, magnetotactic, um, orga organocarbophilic, and the fermentative uh, microorganisms, several genera uh, in uh, the soil and in the water, they can do denitrification, unlike nitrification. So uh, nitrific nitrifying organisms uh, are limited, while denitrifying groups, uh, denitrifying bacteria are very diverse. Therefore, it is very hard to control denitrification, unlike nitrification. And see here, we could see even more about the nitrogen fixing, animal and pathogenic association, phototrophic, lithotrophic, and uh, much more. So for C to um, uh, to look at the reduction process, the nitrite, nitrate reductase is the first enzyme that takes the nitrate into nitrite, and the nitrite reductase okay, converts it into uh, uh, nitric oxides, and the nitrous oxides reductase brings it into the final form as N2. And here, if we want to uh, see how uh, denitrification is regulated and controlled, Usually, we think about factors such as oxygen, which is the most profound and uh, limiting factor. Availability of oxygen inhibits denitrification. 
and for for that uh, uh, it is a strictly anaerobic process also the presence of the substrate which is the no3 if you have denitrification denit where uh, ammonium ion is converted to uh, uh, no3 minus this is good you have the substrate but if you don't have enough nitrate then denitrification would cease to continue of course the presence of a carbon source because most of them they're not autotrophic they are heterotrophs and so they require a good so controlling these factors could affect and regulate denitrification well as we said earlier oxygen uh, inhibits the enzyme synthesis uh, therefore the uh, most uh, denitrification occurs after the consumption of oxygen and uh, where anaerobic conditions are performed. Uh, this figure here shows the percentage of water-filled pore spaces, 10, 20, 30%. 30% of spores in the soil are filled with water. As, we, as the uh, um, amount of water is limiting in the soil environment, uh, there will be a limited number of uh, nitrification. So first, nitrification starts to uh, expand until about 60 percent 50 to 60 percent water filled pore spaces then nitrification start to decrease because of limiting oxygen availability then in that time it's where denitrification starts to kick off by 70 80 90 percent 100 percent most of the denitrifying organisms as you can see in the here in the dotted graph they start to also expand in number uh, uh, as the uh, oxygen become less available and therefore more suitable for denitrification. Where can we see uh, anaerobic conditions in the soil? We can see it in the center of an aggregate. So some denitrification activity can be noted within the aggregate, so where uh, most of the oxygen concentration would be minimum. Uh, or sometimes this uh, consumption of oxygen could continue where the anaerobic space could expand and therefore enhances the capability of denitrification. Uh, uh, also regulation of denitrification, I think we've uh, talked about this environment. The pH is optimum between 6 and 7 as pH increases and uh, uh, um, therefore N2O to nitrogen also changes. The temperature is between around uh, mesophilic temperature, uh, while some could uh, carry out denitrification at below 10 degrees Celsius. Mostly then, uh, denitrification here, we're talking about the control of nitrogen, as most of the nitrogen supply, it's form, it forms uh, nitrate. This nitrate, where does it go? It goes into plant uptake, microbial uptake. Uh, it could be leached from the soil and or it can go through the denitrification step. So this is the pathway for nitrate. Most of the nitrogen balance in the soil uh, uh, is reflected by inputs and outputs. We're adding fertilizer and inputs, the uh, management of uh, um, mineralized uh, lightning, nitrogen fixation and rainfall. These are all inputs of nitrogen, while outputs can be summarized as leaching, plant uptake, microbial uptake, inorganic nitrogen, denitrification, volatilization, and runoff. So the mass balance is the difference between the inputs and the outputs. Thank you very much.